I'm Gordon Wilson, and I teach natural history. My greatest desire is to explain the complexities and the diversity of life to people who don't know it and uh, to give glory to God, not only in nature documentaries, but also in the classroom. So season one started out uh, going to Africa in 2020, and Africa is sort of a big spot for what biologists call charismatic megafauna, the big five, you know, the rhinos, the lions, the elephants. These are very attractive to people because they're big. We wanted to just have an episode or two where we were getting these iconic animals to see the majesty, the power of the African savanna. And so that's uh, the reason we chose Africa. What I want people to see and what we want to have people see is the glory of God. We live in a Darwin-saturated, Darwin-dominated world especially in the sciences, that is the thing. And the riot in the dance is diametrically opposed to that narrative. One of our taglines is the cinematic celebration of creation. I want to get the audience swept up with the same emotions that I'm getting swept up with, and that is the glory of God. For the last 160 plus years, all of the glory of the living creation has been given to naturalistic Darwinian processes. God has been factored out of the picture completely. We want to explicitly give God the glory when we take people into the field, whether we're in Australia or Africa or wherever. I hope that we set the standard. I hope we set the bar high for nature documentaries. I hope people are spurred on so that we saturate this particular market of entertainment with the narrative that says God is glorious. I want the students at NSA to get a really good foundation for understanding the diversity, the unity, and the complexity of life. The purpose is to give God the glory for that incredible design. I'm not trying to train up biologists. I'm trying to give our graduates a deep appreciation for how God has made not only our body, but the bodies of all of these other creatures that fill the world. And that is the reason I teach natural history.